Hey YouTube. Okay, so there has been a lot of experimenting with the laminator given this whole trend of foiling that the crafting world is on. I have been playing around with my laminator and foiling too. But before I bring you those tips and techniques, I wanted to show you another way that you could use your laminator. Okay, so if you are a quilter, if you like to sew, or if you like to die cut fabric in your digital die cutting machine, this video is for you. I love it because I can put away my iron, my ironing board, and bring out my laminator to add fusible webbing to fabric. Okay, so here I just have a piece of muslin or cotton fabric. And then I have, I think this is heat and bond. It may be called something else. So what I'm going to do is just add the fabric to the heat and bond. And then I'm going to use this carrier sheet. I picked up this from Joann's. It's by Heidi Swap. I picked up some of her foiling supplies several weeks ago. And so I have cut down this carrier sheet. And I'm simply going to add or make a little sandwich. I'm going to add my fabric. Make sure the fabric is covering the fusible webbing. I'm going to add it in. And then I'm going to send this through the laminator. It takes about 45 minutes to come through. Now I'm using a Scotch TL901 laminator. I recently got this from Amazon. I got this one because I wanted to compare it to my Purple Cow. And they're pretty much the same, except for one of my foiling techniques, the Purple Cow actually did better than this one. I thought this one would be better. Yeah, so I love this technique. I mean, who thought that you could get more than one type of use from your laminator? Now, if you have a 12 by 12 inch laminator, of course, you can add fusible webbing to larger sheets of fabric. This is perfect for appliques, too. I love it. So it's almost done. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is peel, peel off my, um, my fabric. Now if you notice, I got some adhesive here. That's because I didn't cut down the fusible webbing, but this, it comes right off. So here we go. Watch the magic. I love it. Now the camera may not pick it up, but all the adhesive was fused to the fabric. Everywhere. The corners are perfect. And I sent this through just one time. And the setting I'm using is the 5 milliliter. It probably would have worked on the 3. I love it! <laughs> well, be on the lookout because I'm going to post other videos with creative ways you can use your laminator, including some tips and techniques that I learned concerning foiling. Thank you guys for watching.